현재 전 세계에서 태권도는 스포츠와 무술을 넘어 교육, 치료, 공연, 예술 분야로도 발전하고 있습니다. 이렇게 여러 분야에서 주목받는 태권도는 한계를 뛰어넘는 한국인과 닮았다고 하는데요. 지난 3일 도쿄 패럴림픽 태권도 여자 58kg급에서 금메달을 따낸 리사 기신은 원래 2001년, 2003년 세계선수권에 출전한 비장애인 태권도 국가대표였습니다. 그녀는 2007년 골수암 판정을 받았고 2012년 종양이 자란 왼쪽 손목을 잘라내기 일입니다. 그럼에도 그녀는 6년이 넘는 시간 동안 태권도를 계속해왔습니다. 금메달을 딴 개신의 도복 검은 띠에는 한글로 또렷하게 이름이 새겨져 있습니다. 개신은 내게 태권도는 최고의 치료다. 어느 날 암에 걸렸고 한 손을 잃었다. 태권도를 통해 도전할 수 있었고 태권도를 통해 더 강해질 수 있었다. 태권도는 내병을 극복하고 치유하는 최고의 치료제가 됐다고 말했습니다. 현재 전 세계의 많은 사람들은 태권도를 통해 신체 단련은 물론 마음과 정신까지 단련하면서 각자가 가진 한계를 극복하고 주위에도 선한 영향력을 나누고 있습니다. 뇌성마비를 앓고 있는 미국인 브리아나 살리나로는 태권도를 통해 다시 태어났다고 말합니다. I've been practicing taekwondo for about 10 years. There are so many things about taekwondo that appeal to me. I think the family unity that you get when you join the team and pushing yourself towards a goal that sometimes seems impossible, but the day that you accomplish it is like, oh my God, you know? Even today, like, I can't believe that I'm the first like, female para-athlete for the United States in this sport. Um, it's very humbling, um, you know, and it keeps me going. Yeah. Hey, Brianna, Hi. good to see you. Good to see you. How have you been doing? I'm good. She was about two and a half years old, and her mom and her dad brought her in to me uh, because she was having some difficulty with walking. She never put her feet down, so she was always on her toes. Bring your leg all the way up. Oh, look at you, and I'll hold the other one down. So you want to get as close to 90 as possible here. Cerebral palsy is a large term for a, a condition that affects the limbs, but it, it stems from the brain. For Brianna, she had a little bit of spasticity, and it causes people to get tight in their Achilles tendons. Well, we had a choice. We could have either did Botox, which was a temporary type thing, or do the surgery. So I said, you know, immediately yes to the surgery. The main goal of this surgery is really to have the foot in the correct position so that bones grow in the correct shape. And you're buying long term a goal of having a plantigrade, painless foot. She did an amazing job with her, incredible job. She started even walking in the cast, so I remember that clearly, which was fantastic. It all just, you know. There's been many bumps along the way. I suffered a lot of bullying when I was a kid because of the CP, and years ago when I became extremely dedicated to the sport, um, it was so hard to get past that word, I can't. Taekwondo has not only changed my body physically, like I can do so much more than I could never even think I could do before, but I'm mentally stronger. I've Watching Brianna over these past few years grow and Everything that she's accomplished and what she's going to accomplish has been an extremely proud moment for me as a teacher, as an instructor. I'm just overwhelmingly proud of her and everything she's done. To win the gold medal, it would, I can't even put into words. Like, if I come home with the gold, that's, you know, the best possible outcome. But if I don't come home with the medal, I come home with experience and just keep moving forward to the next one. 세 살의 자폐증 진단을 받은 이튼의 어머니는 이튼에게 태권도를 가르치기로 결정했습니다. As parents, we all want our kids to find hobbies that will keep them active and social. Well, one 11-year-old Sandy boy is taking it to a whole new level. There we go. There we go. Get sideways. Get out. Knee down, knee down, knee down. Right, go. There we go. Not bad. For most of these kids, being here is a choice. Does that make sense? That's because it requires such a commitment. There we go. You have to want to be here. But for Ethan Feinschreiber, his mom kind of made that choice for him. You can do soccer, t-ball, or karate. Which one do you want to do? You've got to do one. And he just said, I don't want to do any of them. I said, you choose your, I'll choose for you. That was four years ago, and let's just go. say he's left go. most of his peers down, in the down, dust. Down, right, it makes me feel like some kind of superhero where I have a, like, a special power. Like, I've always wanted to fly, but I think I'm flying enough. <laughs> But he really took flight earlier this month at the American Taekwondo Association World Championships. It was amazing. I mean, I, mean, I, was, I was standing there thinking, okay, I have a 50 chance of winning it and I have a 50 chance of losing it. Bring it on, buddy. He didn't just win it. He got a perfect score. 
I was shocked. Martial arts can be challenging for anyone. It can take years of commitment and countless hours of training. But for Ethan, the struggles he faces are even more challenging. I remember when they sat, sat me down and said, well, he's definitely on the spectrum. Diagnosed with autism at three years old. All that went through my mind is, will he be able to be a productive member of society? Will he be able to have a wife? Will he be able to hold down a job, you know? Ethan is smashing stereotypes and also gaining quite a bit in the process. My son, who had no friends up until he was probably nine, 10 years old, um, had gained many friends. This may be the day Ethan became a world champion, but it's also the day his mom's dreams took flight. He's reached amazing heights and accomplished amazing goals. I don't worry at all anymore. He'll be fine. Oh, such a great story. Thank you so much, Ashley. Ethan Feinschreiber is a world champion in the 11 to 12 year old boys extreme martial arts category. And his mom says even though he's high functioning on the spectrum, she never expected this. 1960년대 김영태 사범에 의해 태권도가 보급된 코트 디부아르는 프랑스 식민지에서 벗어나 대표적 모범 국가로 성장하면서 태권도 인구가 꾸준히 증가하고 있습니다. I was only 17 when my country was bleeding from a raging crisis. Back then, I used to look up the horizon and promise myself to one day be part of the solution. I found my way of making a change through my passion for the sport of Taekwondo. And this is how it began. I was born and raised in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. Back then, my father worked in a school where they had a Taekwondo program. This is where I was introduced to the art that would forever change my life. I still remember practicing barefooted on hard concrete or sleeping in my dad's office at night to train in the early morning. But this period of my life ignited in me a burning desire to succeed and made me realize that Taekwondo was going to be my way to achieve something special. All this brought me to the biggest opportunity I could ever imagine. Becoming an Olympic champion has given me the opportunity to make a change and to create impact for my community, for my country, and for the continent of Africa. It is today my duty to give back to the young generation and to empower more kids to learn the life lessons that the sport of Taekwondo has to offer. Watching my brother and all the young generation training like champions and being supported by the same people that supported me brings me hope. My main message is the same one my dad used to tell me. That, that if you choose to do something in life, do it to be the very best. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.